On the Health Watch tonight, new hope for people suffering from ALS, a treatment that uses a patient's own stem cells to repair the brain and spinal cord, and it's being tested right now at Mass General Hospital. Dr. Malika Marshall introduces us tonight to a young father with the disease who hopes this innovative approach will give him more time. Stiffness? Yeah. 41-year-old David Neufegleis was a healthy family man and mechanical engineer when he started noticing constant twitching in his arm. After months of tests, the devastating diagnosis came back last January as ALS. Hearing a doctor say it, it, uh, it takes your breath away. You think about all your, your hopes and dreams for the future and your family and your career and your, you know, everything, and that puts all those in, in question. Life suddenly shifted for David, his wife, and their three daughters. ALS, which is also known as Lou Gehrig's disease, is progressive and there's no cure. Most patients die within three to five years. So David was open to any potential treatments. His doctors told him about a clinical trial at Massachusetts General Hospital in Boston testing a new stem cell technology. The treatment from Brainstorm Cell Therapeutics uses the patient's own stem cells. They're multiplied and matured to make them behave more like brain cells, then injected back into the patient where the cells help repair the brain and spinal cord. Researchers hope the treatment can decrease brain inflammation that causes worsening of ALS. These stem cells from people's own bodies can act as anti-inflammatory, like an anti-inflammatory drug. The disease has already affected David's balance and his hand movements, but he says he's grateful to take part in the study. My hope for this trial is that finally ALS patients have a powerful weapon they can fight their disease with. He gets injections every eight weeks and is encouraged about what the treatment could do for him and others. So, David, about 200 people are being recruited to take part in the clinical trial. Three smaller trials have shown some positive results. Researchers have, should have results from this study sometime next year. If you're at home and you're just clamoring for something that might be able to help and you possibly want to be part of this, how do you do so? So on our website, which is okay. cbsboston.com, we have listed the name and number of the Mass General nurse who is dealing with recruitment of patients. So please go to our website and uh, give her a call. We wish the very best for David. I know. These people are so yeah. lovely, they both him and his wife. Like, yeah. yeah, so we All wish right. them the best. Malika, thank you. Lisa, over to you. Those results cannot come soon enough, guys. Thank you, David.